so what are the few things you need to do if you get a new laptop this will be a series of videos okay as something start to come in my mind so this is the playlist i will link it in the comment and with this will also be linked to my uh, main home page youtube home page under playlists both here and in the india version also so yeah it has a lot of things to see but let's start with the most important one as soon as you get a laptop make sure to make a complete unboxing video not an unboxing video for youtube okay i'm not asking you to make an unboxing video that you will that you are going to put on youtube you are going to make an unboxing video in which you are going to sue all your details all your laptop details okay so you are going to show the box from all the side you are going to show the packaging i actually cut that part you have to show everything you have to show all these details you have to show shipping details and everything in that video and you keep that video with you as a proof okay some companies uh, in some countries are really brutal when when it comes to these things so if you have something like this if you have something like uh, this kind of a video as a proof and as you can see i am not cutting the video okay so don't pause re-record you are not shooting for a movie you are shooting for your own safety the more clear things are in there the more clear it looks the better is it is going to be for you okay so that's the main thing make an unboxing video make sure to show the outside packaging of your laptop first and then you tear it down make sure ask someone to hold the phone for you best to do it if your phone uh, t turn the airplane mode on your phone so you don't get interrupted okay and make this uh, something kind of this okay a complete unboxing video but also include the invoice page also include the packaging in all details this is very important in case there is a very little chance but in case something broken comes or something mis is mishandled by the courier company at least you have a video to prove it okay you can just upload it to youtube as an unlisted video don't make it public as an unlisted video and if something goes wrong you can immediately call whichever company you got the laptop from you can call them and you can mail them your video link okay so that is the number one thing to do especially in third world countries like india where you simply can't get a refund of your laptop you, you can buy it from online offline you, you won't get refund here in us and all places consumer laws are a bit strict here they are nothing okay so yeah make sure to show the laptops from outside this was the maze the, the most important point number one the second thing is if you google uh, so this is for lenovo so if you search lenovo warranty status uh, I'm, uh, acer also has a similar kind of thing where you uh, put in your serial number of your laptop and you get drivers and all okay so the second thing you do is driver update no not really <laughs> that comes later second thing you do is updating your driver the second thing you do is actually a hardware diagnostic report okay so no one has the time to check every and every part of your laptop so companies provide their own diagnostics so i know what you're going to say that these diagnostic solutions are the company's own okay and uh they might not show you the truth that may be some case true but all i know is it's better to check it uh, in case of lenovo i can say this once i got my first or second motherboard replaced i ran the diagnostic solution right away and that was the one thing that showed an error with my gpu okay so that was the thing that saved me, a diagnostic report so every time you get some service or not you get anything in your laptop you make sure to run the diagnostic report okay because the first time our server issue was and if an issue comes in their diagnostic report okay my gpu was having an issues i felt yeah so if uh, something comes in their diagnostic report they cannot deny it okay so my gpu is underperforming uh, 
yeah i got another and which is again faulty as reported by lenovo diagnostic tool so i ran the lenovo diagnostic tool okay so whichever company you have make sure to get the diagnostic tool on lenovo it is if you just google lenovo warranty lookup you will come to here click on detect my device it will download a small application okay and it will uh, so you a similar kind of page here you will get your serial number under trouble and diagnostic you will see here downloadable lenovo diagnostic you can run the diagnostic suit here also but i wouldn't recommend it in a browser everything is not being shared with the about the system and offline uh, uh, setup is better so if you click on this you will come on this page there is 60, 32 bit here is 62 bit oh you can just download the uh, there is also a bootable versions for linux and on usb on windows and all that and uh, for most people windows 64 bit this will work just fine okay so i have just downloaded it and let's see if it's what i'm thinking it is let's complete this setup okay they have changed the name it isn't it used to be called just lenovo diagnostic app okay here it is earlier it was called diagnostic app and now it is diagnostic evolution because it has evolved apparently yeah bunch of intros how the hell is that going to help me let's see if i have to blur something out in this video yeah okay so uh, you do this before installing your own ram before installing your own ssd you do this as soon as the laptop comes you just click on it and will it will start diagnosing after you have done your diagnostic now now the time comes to update your bios okay so before going to update the bios in the same page so whichever laptop you has it has its own page where you can download different software and all you press windows and you type system information okay as you will click on this this will come up and on this if you go down you will see something here it says bios version and date it says my bios version is 2.06 it is h3c and 36w so h3c and 39w i already have a bios update i didn't even knew the vantage software okay it sometimes sketches uh, update sometimes it doesn't for at least at least for bios update it is highly recommended that you at least you know you go to the website okay and check it for yourself so as i checked my bios version was older it says 36ww and the current one is 39ww make sure to run the hydro uh, hardware diagnostic text before this and after the bios update is complete you run it after this be sure to remember BIOS update is not like other software updates. You have to close everything on your laptop. You have to keep it plugged in. Okay. And yeah, that is basically what I'm saying. You do not turn off your computer during a BIOS. It can go horribly wrong. Okay. Keep it plugged in. Keep it fully charged. And it will the fans will ramp up pretty hard. Okay. So if you go into the update, you download and run it. Uh, not an issue. Uh, the second the thing is uh, in what happens in bios updates now a lot of the issues that were in the laptop they are actually fixed so in this particular bios update see what happened there was a security issue so that was addressed usually so most of the time the bios update will look like, uh, nothing happened but sometimes what happens is like the dell uh, laptop g15 after BIOS update, it got a turbo boost of 30 watts in the GPU. Okay. And better thermals, better stability. So these are the things they do. And the thing is, if there is some issue with your laptop, the first thing the technician or the support person will ask you is the BIOS update. That's the first thing he will ask you. And that's the first thing he will check. If he takes control of your laptop or if he comes to your home, that's the first thing he will do. It's better to do it yourself okay the other drivers and all are and that's fine that most can pick up so whatever software it is if it is it's a software it has its own driver update tool it will pick up most other software only the bios thing yeah so only the bios that is uh, what you have to look out for okay i would say not run this this uh, the browser so uh, the browser video okay so three things let's again 
uh, go back to it first first make a complete unboxing video that is very important second run a complete hardware diagnostic test whichever laptop it is third is uh, update the bios and if you really want after the bios update run the hardware scan once more okay so these are the most important things you should do everything else can be adjusted later if later so any kind of initial problem if there is with your laptop these steps will uh, you know will point it out will fit it out. okay uh, say as i said this is a series of video this is not just win one video and i will be making more as i think as i remember i will pin the playlist to my home page so this is the thing this should be the first video here and after that you know what let me just go through this what is important uh, once you start making account when once you get the laptop and you start making an account on it uh, with your email id because most of the windows 11 now requires that make sure to remember what account it was okay don't just make an account like that uh, keep and pass keep password safe for that account because that account if it, if you got an office it might be linked to that account okay it can it happens in some cases so if you you know uh, forget your username you might lose access to office or windows no one knows uh, second thing while setting up the account most people what they do they just use their email id and if their email id has a non-latin name so uh, english character non-english character name chinese or hindi or whatever language they it picks up it picks up that name automatically make sure once once it asks you for username you delete everything and you use english characters only otherwise it will cause ncis error you can see that video for that uh, it's important to know what a thermal throttling looks like so while you are gaming you will know if it is thermal throttling or not watch this video uh, this video will put so the fps benchmark how you can show the fps benchmark while running your instructing uh, while running your game this video should be above here so this is important settings to change for maximum performance. Uh, most things apply to all laptops. A few things apply to only region. Okay, and after that, these two are pretty old videos. So if you already if you really want to boost up further, some FPS you can watch this. Okay, I think this is most of the things covered. Yeah, if I remember something, I will put a new video and put it in the playlist. See.